So one of the most requested features I get is to have mech knockdowns. That requires a lot of work to get animations done for each and every single mech. You have to get the left, right, fall down, the front and back fall down, then you have to get up or to get up from the front down position or from their back up position. So a way to get around this, way to get this feature without having to do all that massive amount of work for the animations is to use a gyro recovery event. So if you ever read the battle tech, battle mech tech manual, I don't know why I have so many techs in there. The mech gyro is something about reaction wheels that they spin up real fast and as the mech is starting to lean forward or back, it grabs onto the reaction wheel to kind of throw itself back to the upright position. Now the Neuro helmet will actually let you disengage the, uh, the reaction wheels so there's no recovering from the event but we don't have a Neuro helmet I can have, have players hook into them. So for the gyro recovery event, as the mech takes damage, the gyro is, the gyro is going to grab onto the reaction wheels keep the mech upright. The more it has to do this, the slower the reaction wheels are going to get. This is represented on the right side of the crosshair. There's a little meter that pops up like your mask meter, except it's on the right side and it fills up as the reaction wheels get slower. Let's see if I can get hit right fast and show it. Oh, shoot me. And I'm gonna sprint right fast. Oh great, I'm back already. Yeah, I should get some attention. Now as the, see there's the right the driver meter on the right side. Now as the driver meter fills up, your reaction wheels are slowing down. So I have it to where if the driver meter is at 80% for more than five seconds, the mech will slow down and crouch. While it's crouching, the gyro will not fill back up, and you'll have to wait till the gyro's the reaction will spin back up before you can stand back up and move again. Come on, shoot me already! And it's the first time in history that mechs or the enemy AIs ignored me. Let's see if I can get this guy's attention here. They go to start shooting. Okay, starting to fill up. Come on. There it goes. Now, when that bar hits zero, I'm in a gyro recovering event. Now, I can still move, I can still fire. And then I'm standing back up after it's finished, uh, spinning wheels back up. Now, for 15 seconds, I cannot take any gyro damage. So, this kind of prevents you from cheesing, knocking over enemies constantly. And there are 15 seconds Enemy over. Enemy mech neutralized. Target acquired. Okay, so now I'm crouching. That way my driver is recovered. Let's see. Are you gonna shoot at me? New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target, Scorpion Lightning. Yeah, but while I'm in this position, I cannot take any damage for gyro. And let's switch. I want uh, this back. Now this does work on 
chicken walkers and regular man walkers. And since this guy seems to have a target, crouch. New target or See what a night stalker looks like when it crouches. There. So the crouching is actually procedural. That way any mech that works on the stock uh, skeletal system will work. And I think that's everything. I mean gyro feature right now is getting good pretty good reviews from the playtesters. They like the fact that it doesn't kind of stop you like it does with power sh uh, heat shutdown. You can still fire mech, you can still fire a weapon, you can still aim. You're just kind of stuck in one position, so if you can't rely on your new ability, you're kind of screwed. But it does kind of have knockdown with all all the bad, with all the bad reactions from like the happens when the MWO devs uh, implemented knockdowns. So this should be in the 0.68 release of Mark Tech next time.